Hey, what's up guys? I was outside doing some work on the S10 and I thought it'd be cool to start a vlog of my build. So I'm going to start doing that. I've done quite a bit of work to it already. But I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what I've done and then I'm going to keep y'all updated on the process of this build. So what I've got back here is, is I've got this uh, fuel cell with a sump. So I've cut the hole in the bed, bolted it down. Got my rear mounted battery box welded to the bed floor uh, I am going to run some bolts through it also uh, you don't see the power cable because it's not hooked up yet it's just laying under the bed ground cable is hooked up though and I've got the nitrous right there so I've got the line going through the bed and I need to drill a hole for this vent for the fuel cell and get rid of that other hose that's right there that was for a ghetto fuel system that was in here and the interior of the truck stock dash with aftermarket gauges got the tack got my custom switch panel right there blazer buckets I'll put some poly buckets in here later and then a mess over there on the passenger side floor just some random stuff this is just a 350 and it's only in here to make the truck drivable that's it I've got the race motor in the garage it's almost done it's gonna be about time to pull this one out soon I've got the nitrous line hanging out right here for now and then I've got this pile of crap battery that's totally dead in here so I got that one there I gotta jump it every time I want to go drive it now I've got my new fuel line ran to the regulator and into the carb you can see I got a rubber hose right here. This is all going to be braided hose when I get the new motor in. And I've got the battery cable for the rear mount battery right here. Uh, two inch drop on the front, three inch drop on the rear. You can see I got a flat tire. That's not the tire, it's actually the wheel. It's got rust along the bead. Uh, and I cleaned it before. And it slowed the leak down so I need to take it up to work and do it again. And I'm going to take this battery out and paint that battery box because it's starting to rust a little bit. And I'm also going to climb my butt underneath and unhook the old fuel pump, which is still good. I just bought another one. Unhook it, take it off, and take all the old fuel line out because I've got this whole new fuel system in right here. So I'm going to get started on that. Uh, but real quick, let's go to the garage. Oh. Sorry guys, the garage is a mess. But that's what a garage is for, right? So, let me turn some lights on in here. There we go. Got the dune buggy build over here. This started life as a Suburban. Uh, 88 Suburban. Anyway, I got the race motor right here. 383. Uh, let's see, this is not the water pump that's going to stay on it. Uh, that's not the carburetor that's staying on it and definitely not the air cleaner that's staying on it it's just on kind of for looks right now and to keep stuff out of the engine and that's also not the starter that's a big starter for that little truck I'm gonna get a mini starter for it so let's go work on the truck Paint time. Alright, next time I go to work, 
I will put this truck up on the lift and get rid of the rest of that fuel line. Right now, I'm just going to tuck it up there. So I cannot find my drill right now. And those of you watching, this is not a drill. This is an impact. But I can't find my drill, so I can't drill a hole for this vent tube right now. And this other vent tube from the old fuel cell, I'm going to leave in here for now until the next time I take this up to my shop. Get it on a rack, that way I can get underneath it a lot easier than crawling on these rocks. And get all that stuff taken out. And I got paint drying on the battery box. And I really need to clean the inside of this thing out. I also cannot wait to get this truck painted. But I got some braided fuel line in here. The old CD player. Which obviously there's no room for it now because I got a switch panel. And uh, what else is in here? There's some tape, some wire, just some other parts. A lot of it's garbage. I don't know why I keep it in here. I just need to clean this thing out. Alright guys, so that's it for this episode. Or this update video or whatever you want to call it. We'll just call it episode. So that's it for this episode. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I will keep you all updated on this build as I progress. And there's my little helper right there. It's really hot out here, so we're going to go inside. See you guys next time.